Hi guys and welcome back to Gallagher Abode. My name is Marta and I'm so happy you're here because I have a lot to show you. So, I have been on a spending bender. I swear, ever since 2023 hit, I have been shopping every weekend without fail and I did it again this weekend. I'm so excited to show you what I got. I went to all of the favorites, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, World Market, and we can't forget about Ikea. So I can't wait to show you what I got. Let's get into it. Starting with a very boring but exciting find, I found these two little hot pads or trivets from Marshalls. There is a black knit one and there is a brown knit one. If there were two brown ones, I would have gotten the brown ones, but black and brown still go with my color scheme for my home. I've had the corkboard ones from Ikea and they are so disgusting and I've been trying to get rid of them. So once I saw these, had to pick them up. Oh, and all prices will be posted somewhere on the video. Sorry, I won't call them out, but I will post them in the video. And everything mentioned, if I can find it, will be down low in the description. Now going on with the world market finds. To start, I got these beautiful wooden olive wood spoons. Okay, so here's the first one. It has a beautiful grain color on it. It has some holes in it nice thin handle. I love the wooden spoons from World Market. I've, hi I've had mine for years and if you take care of them, they last forever. So I just wanted a few extra to add to my little collection. And of course the second one that I got is actually this just little tiny little ladle spoon. I love how circular this one is. I thought it was so cute, little tasting spoon kind of vibe. And this one has a very, very thin handle on it. So again, Beautiful little set, the olive wood always matches and you can kind of pick one with more texture or like striping on it than others. But again, beautiful finds. If you need cooking utensils, especially wood ones, World Market is gonna be the place you're gonna wanna look for them. If you hear any thumping around, my puppy dog is sick and she's just kind of moping around the house, so excuse that. I'm trying to invite a few more bright colors into my home to give it a little bit of a spring pop, so what better way to do that than with artificial plants and flowers. Now I've spoken about this before, World Market has the best, if not like the only ones I consider in terms of faux plants. Okay, so I went in with these. So starting with these ones, these are just the Queen Anne's Lace Bunch. These are two different bunches. They are so beautiful, okay? They kind of resemble baby's breath, but not quite. So if you're kind of curious what flower that resembles that you may know, a more common one, this is what it is. They are so beautiful. It looks real. That's what caught my eye when I had seen these. I got two different bundles of it to make it more full. And to pair with that, I got this really beautiful Allium bundle. So they had a couple different colors in this one. They had a beautiful lavender, I believe an orange and a yellow. So I got the green one in this one just to go with the rest of my flowers. I thought that blended in really nicely. Okay, each bundle and it gems tied together so you do get it in a bundle. Comes with about five, six, or seven depending on how big the little balls are. And then actually to go back to this one, it did come in a lavender color and an orange, like a burnt orange color. I went with white, but you could go with whatever you'd like. Again, these pair together, look how beautiful and natural that looks. I have quite a few empty vases around the home, so I'm definitely planning on putting some pops of color in those and trying to brighten up the house with these beautiful little faux greenery. Continuing on, this is a really cute little home find, and I actually found this in the impulse buy section at the checkout. Just look at how cute this is, you guys. This is, again, I have a puppy dog and I love her. And now anytime I see like things with dogs on them, I have to have them, especially if they are neutral, which this is, it is black and white. It has a bunch of pictures of dogs on it little drawings, and it is just like a reusable canvas tote bag. What's cool about this one actually is it has different sections. So it has a split down the middle, it has two different wide sections, and then a smaller pocket in the side of one of them. So I was able to get all my, you know, groceries in this. You could pack a laptop in this. It is so cute. I know it's not a decor find, but I had to show it to you guys. If you have any dog lovers, in your life, this is so cute and it's so versatile and usable. Awesome gift, gifted it to myself. On to home goods. Okay, so I am trying to be a bit more picky about the decor I'm buying because I have a lot of it. And actually my husband and I are going through everything in our home to do our first ever like legitimate spring cleaning. We went through all of our clothes, cut each of our wardrobes in half, gonna donate those, went through all of our decor. We have a garage filled with things that, you know, we just don't need. And 
hoarding is not good for your soul. So we're going through all that and to, and to pair it with that effort, I'm trying not to buy things that I will not be using. So moving on to our home goods finds, I tried to be very specific about what I was looking for. And one of those things was actually a wreath for our front door. This is the wreath in question. Okay, I have been eyeballing this beautiful wreath for months. I swear this exact wreath and a few larger sizes that are exactly like this beautiful kind of lavender like lilac color have been in the market since like November. And I kept saying purple's not my color scheme, it's not my color scheme, I can't get it. And on top of it, our front door is like a mahogany red. So mahogany red and purple wasn't gonna really match the vibe. I caved. I caved. I love this so much. It looks so full. I have to even step back. It's so big. It's so wispy in the most beautiful way and that makes it look real. And again, it's just the most beautiful color, you guys. How stunning is that? So I caved. I bought it and my husband promised to paint our door black like I've been wanting ever since we bought the home. That black door with this beautiful kind of light purple lilac color on top of it Oh, beautiful. I'm so excited. So when that does happen, I will be showing you my spring decor refresh for the front of my house. But I bought this in advance. It was the last one of this exact size that I found. There were a few larger ones that would benefit that would benefit maybe a two door entryway, but we just have one door pretty standard. So this one was the purchase for me. And then and then also from Home Goods, I found this vase that I already have two others of. And it is this beautiful ceramic vase. Okay, I guess it's not really a vase, maybe a planter. It's, it was in like the planting section, but it can be used as a vase if you want it to. It doesn't have any holes in the bottom. Um, it is a beautiful cream color. It has a textured stone, you know, paint on it. And there are actually spray paints with this exact texture. So this just cut the middleman out for me. I'm not going to be having to spray paint this myself. Maybe the inside because it's a little uggo, but beautiful, beautiful piece. It is massive. And I already have two of these. I have this exact size that I painted with an actual stone spray paint, put it outside in my garden and covered it with a bunch of succulents. So it's a succulent bowl beautiful okay and then we have another smaller one that i spray painted and i've just been holding on to it until i'm able to find time to create my own luxury candles so this bad boy will eventually become one of those luxe large candles that you usually find for like 80 to 100 dollars no i'm going to show you how to make some of your own if you want to you know hold out until that video go and find this exact vase at, at home goods and it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna look so stunning as any centerpiece in front of your coffee table, dining table, you name it. Super excited to be showing you that in a very soon near future video. On to Target. Okay, I actually hit the jackpot at Target. I don't generally have a lot of luck with Target items because I don't want my home to look like every other home. And if I keep buying the same decor, you know the story. So anyway, going with a few things that I did find is starting with these thin rectangular um, waste baskets. So they're just like a really, really long oval or rectangular shape. They're super thin this way and wide this way. So the purpose of buying these two was actually to put under my bathroom sink for my husband and myself. We always use Q-tips or cotton pads for our skincare, or, you know, you name it. And we'd have to walk our trash all the way into our bathroom and plop it in the garbage can in there were lazy, I know, so I decided to go ahead and clear under our sinks, organize them with exactly only what we use and need, and then buy these beautiful little trash cans that go with the white scheme in my bathroom. They're gonna slide into the little section and hold all of our stuff. So super excited about this find. I was holding out until I found the right trash can, and again, you're saving so much space instead of holding it like this, putting it like this. So. Super excited to get these into use. I've actually been holding off from putting them under the sinks until I could show you guys first. So as soon as this video is up, it's going under the sink. Moving on with another exciting find. You know how I love my medium wood tones, my neutral wood tones, and we have a beautiful frame. This is a five by seven frame. It has a faux wood but it has all of the wood grain and appearance on it. So honestly, it fooled me from a distance. It's a lighter medium wood and it's fully neutral. There's no cool tones in this. There's no warm tones in this. It's more of a cool, but not quite cool. So 
a beautiful neutral. It's not too big, so I did buy an 8x10 from Ikea, and this is the 5x7, so I'm able to mix and match my wood and my sizes. And we actually just got the new, um, we just got a new dresser in our bedroom, so I'm going to be very excited picking out what photo to frame and put on our new dresser in this stunning frame. The next find was actually extremely exciting, and I'm going to tell you why. One, it goes with the entire room scheme that we are planning for my husband's office. And two, it's by Threshold. Not Magnolia, not Studio McGee, Threshold. Threshold is coming for those two brands, okay? So going in with this beautiful two-piece art set, okay? It has bison on it. One of them has two bison on it. One of them has one bison on it. It is matted, so it has that white matte border on it. Beautiful piece. It is more of a darker, you know, kind of red-based faux wood frame, but that goes with my husband's office scheme. And again, he loves all things Yellowstone, country, you name it. We are planning an art collage wall in his room. And the second I saw these, I flipped and I ran aisles to find him to show him what I found. He was obsessed. So if you have a man's man, husband, boyfriend, partner, whatever, this is like, they upped their decor game. I'm not gonna lie. Threshold is coming for Magnolia and Studio McGee. You're hearing it right here. It seems like everybody has already done their spring front door porch refreshes. And Try, I have been trying to keep up so hard. It just doesn't feel right until the sun pops out here in Oregon I am not gonna be doing any spring Any spring decor refreshing exactly but to prepare because spring is around the corner officially I got this very standard very beautiful welcome mat From Target so it's just a standard welcome mat it has the black border, it has the black words in a beautiful font. The font is nice and small and not obnoxious and tacky. And it was the size that I needed exactly for my front porch. There is a much larger size, but again, that might be best paired with um, a double door entryway. Again, I only have a single door. And to pair with that beautiful welcome mat, I found this outdoor rug, okay? It is for layering, it is beautiful, it is white and cream, and it has kind of like a creamy yellow base. So I'd say it's like an ivory off-white color. It has ice white stitching, so you get the best of both worlds in terms of the shade of white that you're looking at. So here's just a close-up. It is titled as an accent rug, but it is safe for outdoor, and I found it in the aisle where all the Target brand outdoor mats are. It is the perfect size. I checked it in store and made sure that the layering was perfect, and I cannot wait to put this at my front door. Honestly, do not have a welcome mat without some type of layering. That's where we're at right now. That's the look. It gives it more volume. It gives your entryway just a sense of like, mm. Beautiful, okay? You wanna give your front door an extra pop, add that layer, and you will see the biggest difference, honestly. A wreath and a layering mat, you're set. Hazel! Hazel, you have to get up, Mama. Okay, and to end this on a good note, we have our Ikea find. So I did go back to Ikea, and we bought some furniture pieces, but besides the point, we also bought some faux plants and some real plants, starting with these bamboo twists and single sticks. So actually, my husband found this, which is really cute, and apparently in the fish community, it's a thing to put these in your tanks, and then they just grow up. Half of them stick out, half of them are submerged beautiful little pieces. So some of them were coiled and these are fully natural if you could believe it. Like God is wild with these releases. Beautiful pieces and they come with like a little test tube bottom with water in it. So it will survive. Don't worry about your traveling home. Okay. And then there's a little straight one. He wanted one of each. So again, comes with the bottom, beautiful bamboo color. These will be going in our peninsula tank that that's placed in the side of our living room. And lastly, we have this faux eucalyptus potted plant okay so it is a faux eucalyptus okay it has a fake brown plastic looks like dirt and it could have fooled me and then just some beautiful fake eucalyptus leaves now it doesn't have the eucalyptus scent which is fine it is very full you could actually go ahead and like modify how these um stems move so you could actually like make it closer together, bunch it out, whatever you want. And of course, this will fit into many planter sizes, which 
I have a lot of dead plants and I will be taking those out and using the pot from those. So this is a gorgeous piece. I think I'm wanting to put it in a corner of one of our bathrooms. Haven't quite decided, but eucalyptus is so stunning. And when you could find one this real looking that's faux and requires no maintenance, you have to run and get it. So Ikea, again, never sleep on the plant section of Ikea. Okay guys, and that concludes my home and decor haul from all of our favorite stores. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you could stay up to date on all my future videos. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye friends.